Now I call upon Sam Murray, Councillor Sam Murray, please. Thank you, Mr Chairman. I've got a speech to go after. Um, it will come as no surprise that I'll be supporting this budget. I'm pleased to see further investment in the capital programme towards schools. My division has finally seen uh, some projects come into fruition, including a new security entrance at Highfield Nursery School, something myself and Councillor Goldsmith have pushed for. Um, it was a great pleasure of mine to go in and make some tiles with the, the children for the entrance, and though it was very sweet, the entrance was actually very, very important for their security on there. Um, and uh, I would also like to thank uh, Councillor Reader for visiting uh, that nursery school. However, I would like to remind Cabinet members that there is still work outstanding at Highfield Nursery School, and I hope that some of the money in this budget will be used um, for the much needed uh, back rooms so this school would have appropriate rooms and not effectively leaking conservatories for, the, uh, for our children to learn, explore and flourish in. I look forward to seeing this signed off soon. Be assured I will be chasing this on a regular basis until it is signed off. I'm also pleased to see ongoing commitment to drainage. Bit of a change from schools but there we go. It's not an exciting subject. I feel I know too much about suds and now I'm no longer the cool cat down the pub, though given that people know that I collect uh, Margaret Thatcher teapots, I think that, um, <laughs> that ship had sailed uh, long ago. Um, but though it's not uh, an exciting topic, drainage and good drainage is essential for my residents to get to work, to school and go about their day. So I'm very happy that alongside uh, a new road, on Europa Way, uh, the roundabout at the end of Sprawlton Road will see a much needed drainage solution. Um, this budget has the right balance uh, of, uh, of understanding the council's financial demands and the moral duty we have to support our residents without taking our residents for granted and ignoring their fin financial difficulties by doing as the opposition would do and raise the preset by the full amount. I hope my colleagues across the chamber will agree. Finally, if we are to police what is said in this chamber, Councillor Stringer, perhaps the opposition could be mindful that not all struggling families are on benefits. There's this thing called just about managing the jams. They exist and this side of the chamber will not ignore them.